What is going on beautiful people? I am Lee Hammett, diagnosed self-aware narcissist known as mental illness, and welcome to another episode of A Narcissist Explains. In today's episode, we're gonna be talking about why you should not, should not break no contact with a narcissist or a toxic person. Stay tuned, like, and subscribe for more. Thank you. So when you finally get the strength to leave a narcissist or a toxic person and you go no contact, stay no contact y'all because breaking no contact to me is one of the worst things that you, that you can do when you leave a narcissistic toxic abusive relationship mainly because it provides that narcissistic person hope a lot of times narcissistic people tend to treat you badly because they don't think you're ever going to leave them they think you're always going to be there to put up with their bs or whatever they put you through but when you finally decide to leave them and you go no contact it drives them crazy so a lot of them will start to harass you they will become obsessive will blow your phone up constant calling constant text messages try to pop up at your house pop up at your job and things like that in order to try to force a conversation with you please just give me closure i need some closure if you break no contact you give them hope that their that their persistence that their obsession that their harassing behavior works on you all i gotta do to get them to talk to me is, be, is harass them right so stay safe when you go no contact but stay no contact you should not welcome back y'all first of all welcome back welcome back welcome back you should not break no contact with a narcissist or a toxic person unless it's to protect your safety let me go ahead and say that first because going no contact willy-nilly on some people you have to make a plan to go no contact a lot of times because if you go no contact against the wrong type of person they might hunt you down and try to harm you physically yes not just emotionally physically they want to say going no contact is the best going no contact with a narcissist or a toxic person is the best way to help you heal but you have to be as safe as possible when you go no contact because the more the, you know when you go no contact with a narcissistic person they automatically think that you're moving on to somebody else they automatically think that they have lost you for good and they cannot fathom the fact that you just don't want to be with them anymore so they automatically assume they have to make excuses for it in their heads, in our heads, I'm a narcissist, that you automatically are with someone else because that's what we would do. That's what the narcissistic person would do. They would try to move on quickly a lot of times. So they assume that you're doing the same thing. You're matching their energy. So they become upset. They could become obsessive and they could become crazy. When you go no contact, you need to protect yourself. And once you go no contact, again, you should not break it under by no, any means necessary unless it's to protect your safety. Unless they're threatening to unalive you or something like that, I'm just telling you, just <clears throat> if they reach out to you. But no contact means no access, means cutting off. You can't, look, I'm, I'm, look, this is no contact right here. Doom, you don't see me, you don't hear from me. Oh, that's my head. You don't see me, you don't hear from me. I no longer exist to you in your world. And yes, the narcissist that you might feel guilty when you go no contact. I feel like I'm abandoning them. They said they, 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 they're making me feel so bad about leaving them. They're making me so feel so bad about not talking to them, even though they've been abusive for four, th three, two, seven, ten, fifteen years. They're making me feel so bad about leaving while they were not at home, and they're not, they're not, they're not talking to me anymore. Like they're calling me from fake numbers because I blocked them on everything. They're texting me and emailing me from fake emails. And just telling me how I abandoned them and how I'm a coward for not talking to them before before they left. And now I'm ignoring them and the pain that I'm causing them. And now they're going to take their own life. Blah, blah, blah. Boo, 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 beep, beep, beep. Y'all, you heard it all before. If you don't pick the phone up, I'm going to take my own life. And it's going to be your phone. You need to pick the phone up and call a, well, do a wellness check. That's what you need to do. You don't need to go to them to try to save their goddamn life, y'all. This... You cannot, it, you is, it is not your damn responsibility to keep a fucking grown person on this planet. It is not your responsibility. If they threaten to take their own life, they will take you with them. They will. Don't fall for, yeah, yeah I understand it. Emotional manipulation is a real thing, but do not fall for that because they'll take you out of here with them. I promise you that they will. I promise you that they will take you up, they will get you on up out of here. They damn sure will. That's why you have to be as safe as you possibly can because if you don't, they will take you out of here. That's why you should not break no contact because they thought they start, they start threatening to unalive themselves from fake numbers or they tell their family or they have their family members or their friends reaching out to you to, uh, to oh, they're going to unalive themselves. They said they need, the only person that can save them is you. You need to call the suicide, the, the unaliving hotline. You need to call, you know, a well, do a wellness check on them. You need to do something. Because everything else is nothing else matters in these situations right here. You see what I'm saying? But you have to empower yourself. You have to. 
Because if you don't, it's gonna be over for you. I'm just I'm just being realistic for you, realistic with you, y'all. Do not break no contact unless it's to protect your safety, not to protect their safety. Call wellness check. Do 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 do. Number one, I'm gonna call them and they're gonna unlock themselves. Do that. Don't go try to save them. Don't don't risk yourself to save them. You're not responsible for them. Not a damn adult. No hell no. It's the the other parent of my children. So they're gonna have two less parents now. Now they they do both of them out of here. Protect your peace. Sometimes when you go no when you go no contact, you have to move cities, you have to move states because people are crazy, y'all. People literally will lose their minds. That's why you should not break no contact and tell them where you are. Tell them that you're safe. Unless you have like I guess the, when you have kids is completely different, y'all. You you can go no contact with kids. I know a lot of people say, Well, you can't you can't do it with, if you have kids. You might have to get a third party involved. You might have to, you know, do parenting apps or whatever. You might have to do something. You can go no contact because I know people, they, they parallel parent. They have no communication with each other. They, they do pickups and drop off. There's a third party doing pickups and drop offs for them. The third party picks them up. The third party drops them off. They, I think it's a service or something like that. You know what I mean? But there's no contact between the parents. They parallel parent. They pass a list back and forth. There's no contact. You know what I mean? That's the dynamic, y'all. That's the mentality. That's the mindset. You have to be safe as safe as you possibly can. No contact is to protect. No contact is not punishing them. They might convince you that it's punishment. You're punishing me. And you, didn't give, you didn't give me a chance to change over 20 years. I know I had 20 years. All I needed was 21. It would take me 21 years. And you didn't give me my perspective. No contact is not to punish them. No contact is to help you heal. It's to help you heal. It's not about punishment. It's not punishing anybody. It's helping you heal. Because if you think you're punishing them, you're going to pick the phone up. You're going to break no contact. You're going to start a cycle all over again. And then you're going to beat yourself up. Or they're going to beat you up. Because if you go, to, if you break no contact, you give them hope. Any kind of communication, you giving them hope. I don't understand the safety aspect of it sometimes. I understand being safe and documenting the, the, documenting the communication. But if you can safely go no contact, you should. Because if you, but if you break it, you give them hope. And the most, the, one of the most dangerous things that you can give a narcissistic person or a toxic person is hope that y'all will get back together. Hope, that, hope as a chance of rekindling the relationship. Hope that somehow y'all will come back together in the end. No. Do not give that bastard no hope. They don't deserve hope. They do not deserve hope. They don't. You know what I mean? They do not deserve hope. Protect your peace. Protect yourself, y'all. I'm just telling you. It's about safety. It's about growth. It's about a chance to li- a chance at happiness that you would not have that you will not have if you continuously go back into these relationships. You won't get the chance of happiness. You'll be sad. You'll be perpetually sad. You'll be your feelings will be hurt, and you'll be blaming everybody else. But you got to look internally. Who else are you going to keep blame? Who who else are you going to blame for you keep going back? You no, know, for you going back into this toxic relationship. You're going to blame the narcissist? They don't give a fuck. I can promise you that. They don't. They do not care if you break no contact. They do not care if you come back and they treat you horribly. They think you were signing up for. Oh, you broke no contact. You signed up for this. You knew I treated you. You know I've been treating you the same way for ten years. And you came back into it. This is your fault. They're going to blame you for coming back and getting your ass beat, or them taking your life. I'm just telling you, y'all. You have to empower yourself. I want y'all to win. Oh, my clip. See, I want y'all to win so bad. My uh, my microphone popped off. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. But seriously, I do want y'all to win. That's why I'm so passionate about these no contact and safety episodes, y'all, because I know how dangerous people can get. When you break no contact, they think you. When you break no contact, they think you you are okay with every single past behavior because you don't have to talk to me anymore. If it was that bad, why the hell are you talking to me? If it was that if it's that terrible, why the hell are you talking to me? I haven't changed in twenty years. I haven't changed in five years. What the hell makes you think I'm gonna change right now? You convincing yourself that I'm, when you listen to them, y'all do not break no contact unless it's for safety. Like I'm saying, safety first. Of course, use safety. You know what I mean? You have to protect your peace because they'll keep you. They'll keep you hostage. They'll they help, they'll hold you physically and emotionally hostage in relationships. They will, and they do not care. Yeah, I'm just. I, I, I cannot convey how much narcissistic people, toxic people, do not care about wasting your time. They don't care about wasting the prime of your life. They don't care about wasting your youth. They don't care about none of that. They care about how they feel. They care about how you're going to serve them. They care about keeping you lonely and with them while they go out and serve, get their needs served by somebody else. They do not care at the end of the day how you feel as long as you're right here with me. They don't give a damn if you're crying in front of them. They don't give a damn, they don't give a damn if you're begging. They only care about themselves in these aspects, y'all. 
But Lee, they were so convincing when I, when I broke no contact and I reached out to them, they were so convincing that they were gonna change because you gave them hope, you told them. They know if you break no contact and you reach out to me, I don't have to work hard to get you back because you've done most of the work for me, you reached out to me. If you break no contact and you reach out to me, I don't even have to work hard because I know you're gonna come back. I know that's a shot. All I gotta do is play my cards right and you'll come back here. The more you go back, the worse it gets because they think you are okay with their previous behaviors. So if you're okay with the previous behaviors, why do I need to change? If you keep coming back to these, these the, if you keep coming back to, after all these horrible behaviors, why do I need to change? Answer yourself that question, y'all. That's why I'm getting so damn passionate about this. Why, why do y'all think these, y'all, it's not about you. The way that they, the way that they narcissistic person treats you is not about you. It's about them and how we feel internally about ourselves. The, the way we feel about ourselves internally, we express that externally on the people closest to us. So their behaviors towards you are not a reflection of who you are as a person, it's a reflection of how we feel internally about ourselves. And when the more you, when you can come to, to come to grips with that belief, I feel guilty. This false guilt, the guilt is them put this, this is their guilt on you. They're projecting your, their guilt onto you. They're projecting their shame onto you. It's not your shame, it's not your guilt. It's not your fault. But they're gonna make it seem like it's your fault if you keep going back. What about what role, when are you gonna take accountability for the stuff you did? You blaming me for everything that's going wrong in the relationship. When are you gonna take responsibility for what you did? What about your accountability? I know I beat your ass, I know I hit you in your face, but what about when you came home and you accused and you caught me? What about when you went through my phone and caught me cheating? How do you think I felt when you caught me cheating? How do you think I felt? What about my feelings? <sighs> Sorry, y'all. I, I feel like there was a rant bubble coming. I was cussing. I was cussing. <laughs> what? Who am I? <laughs> Anyways, y'all, do not, do not break no contact. No contact is not punishing them. No contact is helping you heal. Anyways, let me cut this thing short, y'all. Y'all see the self love brand? I love me. The self love brand right here. This is the merchandise. This is the shirt. I love me. I'm worthy. You're worthy of love. You're worthy of no contact. You're worthy of peace. The self love journal combined with the self love brand can help you heal. Anyways, y'all, the self love journal is on Amazon. Thank y'all for tuning into another episode. Like and subscribe for more. And as always, as always, mental illness is out. Peace.